Hello everybody, in this video we're going to show you how to print DTF using our RI4000. Some items we're going to need is DTF film and a little bit of water. We're going to apply a small drop of water on our plant just to prevent our film from shifting during printing. Our film here has a matted side and a glossy side. You want to print on the matted side. To recognize it, we can grab one of the corners and scratch it a little bit. We'll see how some of that matting comes off. If I flip this around and scratch the same area, you see how it doesn't come off. Now that we've identified our matted side, we're going to put that right side up. On our control panel, we're going to do a height adjustment by selecting height adjustments, auto adjust, standard. Once our table is all the way inside the unit, we're going to select our image for this job. We're going to go ahead and use our store jobs. So we're going to select store jobs from the display panel. We're going to select the job we're going to print and we're going to press select. We're going to verify this is the job we want to print by pressing yes and then printing start. Mm -hmm. Once our image is done being printed, we're going to carefully bring it over to our powering area. We're going to apply some powder over the entire image. And then we're going to shift the powder from left to right about three or four times, making sure we get an adequate amount of powder over the whole image. The print settings for this DTF can be found at the Rico website under the RF4000 downloads and the file will be named DTF. To remove any excess powder, we're just going to flick the back of the film and we're going to bring this over to here. You want to cure your DTF about one or two inches away from the film. The curing time will depend on powder and film brands. I suggest getting a couple of films and some powders and doing some testing. Alrighty, once your film is completely cured, a good way to check is that putting your finger over it once it cools down. It should feel smooth and you shouldn't feel any glue particles sticking to your finger. Now that this film is completely cured, we're going to put it to one side and we're going to get our garments and we're going to place it on our heat press. Next, we're going to go ahead and place our film on top of our garments and then our parchment paper. Now, depending on the film and powder you use, the curing time will differ. Please refer to your curing time for the specific film you're using and specific powder. In this case, we're going to be doing 15 seconds and we're going to release it. This is a cold peeled film, so we're going to go ahead and place our shirt on a cold surface just to cool it down. So once it's cold, it should be cool to the touch. And then we're going to carefully peel the film away in a downward motion. And then just to give it a little extra feel so it doesn't feel so glossy and smooth, we're gonna bring this back to our heat press. And we're gonna press it one more time for five seconds. Applying a part paper on top. Mm -hmm. And we have a DTF ready to ship out. 